In the last 30 days, this faceless YouTube channel has earned over $13,000 by posting AI-generated Bible stories. If we take a closer look, this channel uploaded their very first video only 8 months ago and only has a total of 68 videos but has already gained a total of 20 million views and 314,000 subscribers. And I found another channel which uploaded its first video only 9 months ago and already has over 11 million views and is earning over $6,000 a month. And another one which was created 6 months ago which has over 4 million views and is also earning over $2,000 a month. So in this video, I'll show you all the steps on how you can create videos for your own channel in this niche. I'll show you how to come up with video ideas, how to script your videos and how to create your first video all using AI tools and to prove to you that this works as a sneak peek of a video I created for this niche in less than 20 minutes. God gave Noah a special task to build a huge boat, an ark. Day after day, Noah and his family worked hard to build the ark. It was not easy, and people around them laughed, thinking Noah was foolish. The first thing you need to do is get ideas for your video. In order to do this, you want to come on over to ChatGPT and ask it for this prompt. Give me a list of 20 most popular Bible stories and hit enter. And then ChatGPT will give you a list of a bunch of different Bible stories and where they are from that you could create your videos about. So you could choose one from there or choose one from your own knowledge. The choice is up to you. Once you have your video idea, the next thing you need to do is generate the script for your video. In order to do this, you want to stay in ChatGPT and then you want to ask it for this prompt. Imagine you're an experienced scriptwriter. Write a two to three minute video transcript. Now for this, you could put in whatever length you want. If you're making a video for a channel like this, you'd want your video to be about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. The choice is up to you. But for the sake of the tutorial, I'll keep it short and digestible. So continuing video transcript in plain English that narrates the Bible story. And then here is where you'd want to insert your story. So the story I'm going to use for this is Noah's Ark. I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to paste it here. Continuing, write it in a way that's easy to digest and understand for for a general audience. The story should be engaging and captivating with a clear beginning, middle, and end. Focus on the key events and lessons of the story and ensure the tone is approachable and relatable, making the story accessible to people who may not be familiar with it. Now that's a pretty hefty prompt. When you're doing this, you could be more simple with your prompt if you'd like. Just this is the one that seems to be working really good for me in developing pretty good stories. So you can go ahead to use this exact prompt or you could even tweak it to fit your use case even better. From there, what you want to do is hit enter. And as you can see, ChatGPT has gone ahead to generate the entire script for me. Once you have your script, you want to read through it and ensure it's to your liking. And you can make any tweaks or editing if there would be stuff you would like to change or ask it to regenerate the prompt, recreate it completely, or change it to be a little bit more literal or a little bit more humorous. But at this point, you'll have your video idea done and your script completed. So from here, the next thing you need to do is generate the voiceover for your video. So now in order to do this, you'd have to go through and get all the narration parts. So in order to get this, what you'd want to ask that GPT is to extract narration and now as you can see we have only the narration part of the script without the other words and titles this is just the pure script so now from here you need to actually generate the voiceover so in order to do this i'll firstly go ahead to copy the first two paragraphs of my script and then i'm going to come on over to 11 labs you could find a link for it in the description below but once on 11 labs what you want to do is come on over to the side here and click where it says voices and then you want to go to the voice library and then from here you want to scroll through play the different voices and find the one that you think sounds best for the voiceover in your video. And once you've listened to a lot of them and found the voice that you'd want to use in your video, what you'd want to do is click here where it says add to my voices and then click add voice. And then you want to come on back over to the speech synthesis and then you want to click onto the text box and then click onto this icon here and then you want to find the voice that you just added in. So mine was Bedlam. And now here you want to paste in the script that you copied from ChatGPT. So now from here you can actually just go about hitting generate and generating your speech. But I absolutely do not recommend you do so. In fact, let me show you a little trick that is what really makes your voiceover sound more human, sound 10 times better, and really makes your videos get way more views. So what I mean is this. So I'm just going to go ahead to take out the rest of the script so I could show you what I mean. So I'm going to keep this one sentence and then I'm going to go ahead to simply generate speech. Now let's take a listen to what this sounds like. Once upon a time in a world that had lost its way, there was a man named Noah. 
Now Noah was different from everyone around him. That's great. That's a great voiceover. This is what you typically hear. But this could sound better if you edit this a bit further by adding exclamation marks, question marks, ellipses, capitalizing certain letters to help it emphasize on them, as well as hyphens and quotation marks. So what you'd want to do from here is go through your script and add in those aspects into different sections of it, like this. Now, as you can see, I've gone ahead to tweak this a bit in the way I've mentioned to you. From here, all I need to do is hit generate. Once upon a time, in a world that had lost its way. There was a man named Noah. Now, Noah was different from everyone around him. So now to finish this off, I've pasted in the rest of my transcript that I copied from earlier. So now I'll go ahead to edit the rest of this just like I did for the first one so that it would sound more natural sounding. And in case you're wondering, why am I only doing two paragraphs rather than the whole script? Whenever you generate the whole script at once, it tends to sound a bit weird lower down the line. So you always only want to do about two to three paragraphs at a time. So now that I've gone ahead to do the entire first section of my story, all that's left for me to do is click generate speech. And then once the voiceover is finished, all you need to do is click down download and it will be downloaded to your computer. From here, what you'd want to do is go back over to ChatGPT, copy more of your script, come back to 11 Labs, delete what's previously there, paste this in, edit it, hit generate and continue doing this and downloading them till you have your entire script done. Once you've completed that, it's time for the next step. So now the next step is to actually generate the visuals for your video. Now in order to do this, it's actually really simple. In ChatGPT, you want to ask it for this prompt. Imagine you are a prompt producer. I will paste one paragraph at a time for my script and you need to create visuals for it. Generate prompts for each scene, which will include the visual that match the storyline in consecutive order and hit enter. From here, it's going to tell you it's understand, so you're going to copy your first paragraphs of your narration and then you're going to paste it in and hit enter and now as you can see ChatGPT has gone ahead to tell me exactly what i need to use in the different scenes of my video so now how exactly are you going to get this imagery what you can do is come on over to a tool like leonardo ai you could find the link for it in the description below then once on leonardo what you want to do is click where it says image creation and then you want to go back to ChatGPT, and then you want to copy the visual that you want to generate come back on over to leonardo paste it in and then from here you want to choose the style of imagery you want to generate now for these three channels they all have three different types of styles so you could choose whichever style you want to create your videos in or even choose a completely different style the choice would be up to you experiment and see but what i'm going to go with is the 3d animation style and on the corner here you want to ensure that under advanced controls you have this by 16 by 9 which is the size of a youtube video so now from here what you can do is simply hit generate and generate this exactly as it is but what i do recommend is that you tweak or edit your prompts in a way that you think may better fit your storyline and now from here i'm going to go ahead to hit generate and now as you can see leonardo has gone ahead to generate me two images that i could utilize this looks pretty good let's click onto another one this also looked good as well now just as an image this looks good but not quite good enough in a video this would not appeal to anybody so what you'd want to do is change this from an image into a video so in order to do this what you want to do is hover your mouse upon the image you'd want to use so i'll go ahead for this one and then locate generate motion video and then what you want to do is set your motion strength now typically i like to use two three i could sometimes go as high up to seven but that's only for things that do not contain people so what you'd want to do is try to see what number generates the best image for you in my case because there's no people here i will stay to motion strength number four and hit generate so now it's done let's take a look at what it looks like now, as you can see, it has turned our imagery to life. It's given us this nice side pan view. This looks pretty excellent to me. So first image done. It's actually that easy and simple. So now in order to generate the second image, you'd want to go back on over to ChatGPT and then you're going to go ahead to copy the next visual again, come back to Leonardo. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take out everything again, except for the explanation of the time and place this was occurring. And then I'm going to paste this in. And then rather than generating two images, I'm simply going to say generate one one just because this does cost 16 tokens per generation and you don't want to waste all of your tokens the choice is up to you, you could generate four five six seven if you want and then where it says noah since i want to be very specific i'm going to say noah from the bible just so that it knows exactly which noah i'm talking about not the random noah down the streets and then i'm going to hit generate and now as you can see it has gone ahead to generate me yet another amazing image of noah so from here i can go ahead to click image to motion i'm going to keep it at four and hit generate to have my Noah generated. And now if we take a look, it looks 
pretty good to me. So from here, what you want to keep doing is keep going to ChatGPT and copying your visual prompt explanation. Come back to Leonardo, paste it in, hit generate. And then from here, after generating it, you simply turn it into a motion video. And then once you've done all your images into videos, note well, you might have to regenerate them a few times till you get them the way you want to be. All you need to do is go ahead to download them. So in order to download them, you simply hover your mouse above it and hit download as MP4 and do this for all till you have all of your images downloaded and ready to move on to the next step. And now the next step is putting everything together to have your video generated. Now in order to do this, you could use any of your preferred video editing softwares, but the one I'm going to use for this tutorial is CapCut Online. But typically I use DaVinci Resolve. Once you get to CapCut, what you want to do is ensure that you have 16 by 9 selected. And then first thing you need to do is upload all of the content that you have. That means the voiceovers as well as the videos. So once all of your media is imported, the first thing you want to do is find your voiceover and drag and drop it into your timeline. And once your voiceover is in the timeline, what I recommend you do is play it and cut out any of the blank spaces it may have been generated with the voiceover. That typically happens with AI voiceovers. So you want to cut them out because that will help it sound even more natural. And then once you've edited your entire voiceover, the next thing you need to do is add the clips into your timeline. So what you want to do is locate your first clip. So for example, this one, and then you want to drag and drop it into your timeline. Then I'm going to zoom in so I could see better. And then once your clip is in, what you need to do is now hit play to play your voiceover. And then you want to drag the scene to match the parts of the voiceover that it is relevant to. Then you want to continue for your second scene. You want to locate the file that you need. And so example, this one, I'm going to add it into my timeline and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to play the voiceover so, and then I'm going to adjust it to fit where in the voiceover that it relates to. And then you want to keep doing this for your entire video till you have all your scenes in your timeline. And then once you've done with adding in all your media, the next thing you need to do is find good background music to go along with the voiceover. In order to do this, you'll come over to the website called Abit.io. I'll leave the link for it in the description below. Once on this side, what you want to do is do a search for documentary and then you, it's going to give you lots of results as you can see over 2000. And then you want to go through all the different sounds, play them, see what they sound like and find the one that you'd want to use. And then once you find the one that you want to download, what you want to do is click where it says download and then it's going to be downloaded to your computer. Then you're going to come back on over to CapCut. You're going to upload the background music that you just downloaded. And then once the song has been downloaded, get your playhead to the start of your timeline. What you want to do is take the background music and drag it to your timeline. From here, what you want to do is reduce the volume of this because it's going to be way too loud and overpowering. So you'd click onto the background sound and then you'd click basic and then you can reduce the volume over here. And then I'll go ahead to cut out the rest of the background music that I don't need and delete it. And now from here, the next thing you'd want to do is add in transitions between your scenes so that it will have a smoother transition. Put your mouse between them both and click where it says add transition. And then where it says overlay, click view all. And then I'm going to click mix. And now that it's added in, take a look at it. It's pretty abrupt. With the transition selected, you should see this pop-up filter here. I'm going to increase the duration to about one second. So now let's see the transition seems way better. So now all I'm going to do is click apply to all. And just like that, as you can see, the transition has been applied to all of our scenes. Now, the last thing I'm going to do to this is add in captions on screen. You don't have to do this, but I find sometimes this really does level up your video. So in order to add in the captions, I'm going to click where it says captions, and then I'm going to click auto captions with English selected, hit generates. And now, as you can see, the captions have been added in for me. So from here, I'm going to select the first one and now I'm going to edit it because it does look a bit plain. So I'm going to click where it says text basic. I'm going to now change the font style and then I'm going to change the casing. So now it will be uppercase. I'm going to increase the length of this so that it will have enough space and I'll recenter this again. And now I'll give it a black shadow behind the text and ensure that apply to all is selected. Next, what I'm going to do is animate this. I'll click where it says animation and then I'm going to scroll through all the different options in animation that it has. And then I'm going to choose the one that I think will work best for my video. Or if you don't want to do it manually, you could always click where it says presets, go to templates and find a preset that you prefer the most. So for example, this one seems to always work pretty fine. And now let's take a look at what this looks like. Once upon a time, in a world that had lost its way. And then once you've added in your auto captions, you're completely done. You can choose to edit your video more. You can choose to edit it less. The choice is completely up to you. But from here, all that's left is for you to download your video. So in order to download it, you're going to click where it says export. You're going to click download. Ensure you have 1080p as the resolution. MP4 is good. And hit export. And then from here, all that's left for you to do is upload your video to YouTube. Be sure to use Canva to create your thumbnails and vidIQ to optimize 
optimize your videos so that you can get the most views possible. I'll link both of these tools in the description. These are both what I personally use. And now for those of you who are ready to see the results, let's take a look at what this looks like. Once upon a time, in a world that had lost its way, there was a man named Noah. Noah was different from everyone around him. One day, God told Noah that he was going to send a great flood to cleanse the earth. So, God gave Noah a special task to build a huge boat, an ark. Day after day, Noah and his family worked hard to build the ark. It was not easy, and people around them laughed, thinking Noah was foolish. But Noah didn't give up. He trusted in God's plan, even when others doubted him. Finally, the ark was finished, and just as God had promised, animals of every kind began to arrive. Lions and lambs, birds and bugs all came to the ark two by two. That was absolutely amazing. I was so into this, I even forgot I was recording a video. And this is how you want your viewers to feel when they watch your video. So now you know how to create videos for a channel like this. And be sure to utilize your own style of prompts, your own style of image generations, because all these different channels have different styles which make them unique, which make them blow up faster and earn lots of money. So be unique with your own channel and good luck. But hold on now, don't click off this video yet. Because if you want to learn how to create videos for even more faceless YouTube channels, then you need to check out this other video on my channel.